Marvel stuff, Doctor Strange 3 plot details in Miss Marvel season 2. Let's see what the Cosmic Wonders to say about this and check this out. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and we just learned a great deal about what is going to happen as far as the story arc for Doctor Strange goes with Doctor Strange 3. We also have some awesome news about Miss Marvel Season 2 and how she's going to fit into the overall MCU after the Marvels. Now Doctor Strange is going to be an extremely important character moving forward in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the multiverse saga, especially when it comes to actually wrapping things up in Avengers Secret Wars. We know that the multiverse is kind of going to be thrown into chaos relatively soon with Deadpool 3 and Doctor Strange 3 and the King Dynasty. And ultimately Ultimately, we know that Doctor Strange is going to be somewhat at the heart of it all. He's already caused one incursion, and his variants seem to be causing other incursions to happen, and now there's going to be a big multiversal group searching for him in Doctor Strange 3. And it looks like, according to what we've learned, Doctor Strange is going to be exploring more of his dark side in the future of the MCU and Doctor Strange 3, oh, wow. Secret Wars, etc. Something that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness hinted at is that Doctor Strange is kind of a threat to the multiverse. This is what Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four and the Illuminati stated to Doctor Strange. But what's really interesting about this scene, which is going to come into play in Doctor Strange 3 that we've recently heard about, is that Mr. Fantastic does not specifically say that the biggest threat to the multiverse is is you he doesn't specifically blame the one dr strange but he simply says the biggest threat to the multiverse is dr strange we appreciate your concern Stephen, but it's not the scarlet witch that we fear from our experience the greatest danger to the multiverse it turns out is dr strange wait you're dr strange earth's mightiest hero who died defeating thanos we should tell him the truth so he was not talking about a specific Doctor Strange. He was not talking about our main universe Doctor Strange. He was talking about Doctor Strange in general, referring to just all of the Doctor Strange variants that are out there. This is something that is going to be explored in Doctor Strange 3. A group called the Black Priests are going to be searching for Doctor Strange because he seemingly is causing incursions, him and his variants, and they are a problem to the multiverse, of course, alongside Kang the Conqueror, which they're also going to discuss and talk about and address. Now, recently we learned a lot more about Doctor Strange and his dark side thanks to the art of Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness art book, where we learn more about the character from director Sam Raimi. In talking about Doctor Strange, he states he's a good person, but he's got his own psychological problems. He sometimes can be a little selfish, a little arrogant, Crowd. This prevents him from being some flawless good guy. And he wrestles with his dark side, and he delves into the supernatural in a way that some other magicians who are fighting for good think is immoral. Now we know that Doctor Strange has a dark side. We've known that since the very first Doctor Strange. He's broken the rules. He's tried to do things his own way. He has ignored what other people who are more experienced than him have told him. And we've seen it not work out for him in a lot of different circumstances between Doctor Strange 1, Avengers Infinity War, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and what we've heard about the other variants of Doctor Strange causing incursions and dreamwalking. This is all due to everything that Sam Raimi mentioned, his arrogance and his dark side. But he goes on to tell us even more. He states, Therein lies a great conflict with the character. I find him to be a character at war with himself, which we all are. And so he's very relatable in that way, even though he's a superhero. We find Doctor Strange at the beginning of Multiverse of Madness as someone who has not only passed through the mastery of magic, but who's now dealing with the results of a life spent devoted to one's craft at the extreme of his personal life. And I would argue that it would be at the extreme of the multiverse. Mm -hmm. Doctor Strange did some things that he thought were going to be for the best and thought that probably were the only way to defeat the Scarlet Witch and save his current universe, but that had repercussions for the entire multiverse, and we learned that in the post credit scene when Clea showed up. And that post credit scene wasn't all it was made out to be, but we'll break that down in just a bit. Doctor Strange 3 is going to further explore Doctor Strange's dark side because when a group of people, multiversal team, shows up and says, hey, you're the problem to the multiverse, we know that Doctor Strange isn't probably going to agree right away, especially when he learns about Kang the Conqueror. When he finds out there's a true villain out there, he's probably going to say, hey, it's not me, it's 
him. So whatever I'm doing isn't the problem. It's Kang and his variants that are the problem. According to Multiverse of Madness writer Michael Waldron, embracing the darkness and Doctor Strange's dark side was what Multiverse of Madness was about. This will continue into Doctor Strange 3. Because remember, the multiverse is going to fall apart. They're not going to fix that in Doctor Strange 3. That's not going to be fixed until Secret Wars, and even then, it might not even be fixed. We are getting a soft reboot after that movie, so maybe it's not fixed. Maybe they continue on with only a few universes, or maybe just one new mm -hmm. used main universe that consists of multiple universes put together. So Doctor Strange 3 is going to explore that concept of Doctor Strange being the problem and kind of the root problem, with the exception of Kang, of the multiverse kind of falling apart due to incursions. He's caused a few already, and there was already an extremely powerful group that knew that he was the core problem, and now we have a multiversal group called the Black Priest, which Clea is a part of, seeking out Doctor Strange, not necessarily to get his help to fix an incursion that he caused, but to stop him. This will be a big premise of Doctor Strange 3. We'll talk about that in just a bit. But first, big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Many of you may know that I personally use HelloFresh and I love it. It makes cooking fun, easy, and it's affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit delivered straight to your door. And you might not know that they actually have seasonal recipes. Right now, since it's summer, they have their new fresh and fit summer menu. So if you're trying to get that beach bun, but you're also trying to eat really great tasting food, it's perfect for you. Right now, it's peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh. Make sure you get all the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than seven days for quality you can taste. If you are trying to impress your friends this summer by doing some cooking for them, HelloFresh makes it super simple. They give you all of the ingredients and tell you exactly how to make each meal. And the best part is, right now, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash 50Cosmic and use code 50Cosmic for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50Cosmic. Use code 50Cosmic for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. Now, in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, we saw four main variants of Doctor Strange and three of which caused incursions. Our main Doctor Strange obviously caused an incursion. This was made clear by Clea. Obviously, the 838 variant of Doctor Strange caused one as well. They made that very clear. And the one that we met at the end of the movie had clearly caused an incursion as he was still living on a world that had endured an incursion. In fact, he was the only one left. And the Doctor Strange that we saw in the very beginning of the movie, we're not really sure if he caused an incursion or not, but we do know that he did try to kill America Chavez, so that dark side of Doctor Strange was definitely explored there. So we can kind of see the pattern of Doctor Strange not necessarily being so good. So Clea is seeking Doctor Strange. Now she meets him and tells him that he caused an incursion and that he's going to help fix it. And that might be true, but we also know that Clea is a part of the multiversal group, the Black Priests. And essentially they are trying to stop the multiverse from exploding and being destroyed. Now in the comics, Doctor Strange is actually a part of the Black Priests. He's actually their leader. Obviously, that's a very different route from the movies now, unless he ends up becoming the leader. But as of right now, the Black Priests have an issue with Doctor Strange because, like we've mentioned, it does seem like he is at kind of the center of the multiverse kind of collapsing. Now, obviously, Kang is also a huge problem, but there can be more than one problem for the multiverse. So Doctor Strange is going to kind of have to come to terms with he may be an issue to the multiverse, and he's got to fix that. This is what we're thinking could possibly be happening in Doctor Strange 3, based off of what we've heard from multiple insiders up to this point. We've also heard recently, as I mentioned in the beginning, that a Miss Marvel Season 2 is in development. It's in the works right now, or I should say at least it was before the strikes happened, but according to the insider, My Time to Shine Hello, Miss Marvel Season 2 is in the works. She stated this by replying to a tweet that says you can only pick one, a solo Kate Bishop show or a Miss Marvel Season 2, in which she replied, a solo Kate Bishop series because Miss Marvel Season 2 is already in the works. This comes as little to no surprise. We knew that she was going to be a major character moving forward, especially because in the finale of the show for season one, 
we discovered that Kamala Khan is actually a mutant. And obviously there's a big future for the MCU with mutants and the X-Men. Now we're not sure when Miss Marvel season two is going to occur. We do know that the bangle that she has is probably Kang technology. This is going to be further explored in the Marvels and I'm sure she's going to have a decent role in Avengers Secret Wars. We also know that she's going to be a part of the Young Avengers team and is actually going to be one of the people who founds the Young Avengers. She'll be a founding member. So she She's going to be extremely important for the MCU, and I wouldn't be surprised if she still shows up after Avengers Secret Wars and makes it into Phase 7 and what we are calling the Mutant Saga. After all, she is a mutant. Marvel Studios made that very, very clear. So we're not sure when Season 2 is coming, before or after Secret Wars, but that is exciting news nonetheless. So let us know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below about Doctor Strange 3 and Miss Marvel Season 2. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Don't forget to like the video, and if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. We pick one winner at the end of each month, and the winner gets to pick one item. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Wolf Wolf. Please subscribe, like this video, have a great day, and please like this video, and see you guys, bye.